when this began back in November of 2020, most people thought that this was a Jack Ma issue. But if you recall, the regulators called in over two dozen tech companies for tea, as they call it. And what they really wanted to focus on was how these companies are being run at home. There were large consumer protection issues. But what we've seen since November is that national security and data security has become extremely important to the Chinese government. And they are very concerned, Frank, about the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act. The Chinese fear that that data, once these companies have to open up their books under this particular U.S. law, that somehow sensitive data would fall into the hands of the national security establishment. Now, Frank, there are no reasons to believe, based on that law, that this will happen, but the Chinese are certainly fearful of that. And then finally, I would say that these companies have become so ubiquitous in the lives of Chinese citizens, so much so that some in the Communist Party believe that these companies could rival the influence and power of the party, and that's just not going to happen under Xi Jinping. So one thing that I think we can really relate to in the U.S. are, at least the, from the government, inflation concerns. Can you kind of talk to us about how concerns about inflation and increasing consumer prices in China are kind of fueling this crackdown? Yeah, well, on this particular point, Frank, I want to focus on the crackdown on the education sector, because here <clears throat> price becomes a real prohibitive factor for parents who are looking to educate their kids in a very, very tough education environment in China. And many of these companies were really price gouging on the services. And there were some questions about the value of these services. And so the Chinese government, who also has a goal, as you know, Frank, to increase their population, to have more uh, families having kids, uh, this was just not going to happen with the price of housing and the price of education. And so the government, in addition to all those other reasons that they're cracking down on other tech companies, have focused on this sector largely because of price inflation and gouging. So one other thing I really thought was interesting um, from your research is that the Chinese government's actually concerned about these companies simply becoming too powerful and maybe rivaling the power of the Chinese Communist Party. But at the same time, China's an emerging economic power trying to rival the U.S. as an economic power when it comes to things like tech. So how is the, the Chinese Communist Party trying to balance these two different, you know, it would seem to be conflicting goals? Yeah, that's a very good question. A lot of people, investors in particular, have made the calculation that because of the tech war, the pending tech war, the competition between the U.S. and China, that regulators will only go so far with some of these companies. And I say th that's not how we should look at this. The Chinese believe that they have to do whatever they need to do to get these tech companies under their control so that they can be prepared for a long-term struggle with the U.S. in this particular space. And a lot of these companies have become extremely dependent on U.S. capital markets, and that's a concern for Beijing. So I think we should still expect that there will be vigorous competition in the tech sector, but that the tech sector in China will march to the beat of the Communist Party drum, and that's what we're seeing happen here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.